Hi besties, welcome back to another vlog. I'm starting off this video unboxing something really exciting that I have been waiting for for a few weeks. I mentioned this a few weeks ago in a vlog and I, I'm just so excited. So I ordered these. You can probably tell from the tape, but it's from Skate Pro and I got a pair of roller skates. All my friends have them and this is gonna be so amazing for summer so I'm super excited to open these up I obviously wanted to do it on the vlog and show you guys so these actually came from Denmark which is crazy it took a little while they were supposed to be delivered last Friday and today is Friday April 30th so I guess with COVID shipping delays and everything but I'm happy they're here I am not a pro about like all the stats and everything behind it I just asked my friend what kind she recommended because she like fell down a deep reddit hole about roller skate reviews and everything so she said that this was a good brand I'm so excited yeah. so I ordered them from skate pro which as I mentioned I believe is a Denmark brand because that's where it said my skates came from and I live in Ontario which I was kind of nervous about the shipping here but it did take just a few weeks which isn't too bad um, so I got the Chaya Melrose roller skates look how beautiful this box is here's what the box looks like up close it just says Chaya here there's a little handle and then here is all the stats and everything on the back so I got a 37 which transfers to a six and a half which is my shoe size and then here is all of the stats i got the melrose lavender um the chaya lifestyle roller skates i was pretty unsure about the sizing because i didn't know if i should get a six or six and a half but i read the reviews and a lot of them said that they run a little bit small so i was like okay i'm just gonna stick with my true size and i think 37 which is a six and a half will be perfect can we just it's time it really is oh my gosh the color is so <laughs> I'm not over it. You guys can see a little sneak peek here. Wow. TikTok made me do it and all my friends. So. <laughs> I'm like actually sweating. <laughs> I've been so excited. <laughs> Look at the color. You have to be kidding me. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. The material itself is really nice. It seems like it's like weather resistant and everything and won't break very easily. It looks like a figure skate too, so it laces up. It's super thick. You guys can see how thick this boot is. The inside is really comfortable. I love that the laces are super long. Obviously, love the brown accent on it. That is the cutest thing, and the touch of blue is just perfection. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Let's get the other one out. You have to be kidding me. They feel really amazing quality, honestly. I was kind of nervous because like this part is all plastic, like this here and the attachment, but it's very durable. And like I said, had pretty good reviews. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated. I don't know what I was expecting the boot to be like, but it's literally like a figure skate, which is really, really cute. And obviously very durable and comfortable. I can't I'm not over it. I'm like weird right now because I'm kind of speechless. I don't know what to say like literally took my breath away So it does come with a little instruction book. I know you have to do something before you use the skates I didn't really explain further, but sometimes when you order from a skate brand the wheels will be Tightened so that they don't spin so you have to really loosely tighten The bolts I guess mine were fine. They didn't have to loosen them and then also sometimes people recommend loosening the trucks a little bit so it's easier for you to turn but when I tested them they were fine and I didn't need to do that and also you just need to check like the toe stops are at the right length adjust them if they're adjustable and make sure like the wheels and everything are secured congratulations to your new chaya roller skates okay so i think i might read through this a little bit before it is very very windy outside you guys can see all the trees it's been super shitty because i have been using my mom's roller blades not skates because my friend has them and we've just been going on little rides but the weather has been so shitty like 
cold, rainy, and I just checked the weather leading up for the next week and it's raining every single day and today it's not raining so I think I'm just going to go out and test them a little bit. I think I'm going to go with Jay and he will ride his longboard and look at the cute little toe stop. I know you can buy like different toe stops online which is really cute. Like imagine a pink heart. That'd be adorable. That is it for now. I am gonna try them on and show you guys maybe. Or maybe I'll go downstairs and try to ride at my house. Okay, if you hear people talking, it's because there's people talking in my house. But I'm gonna try them on and I'm gonna try to rollerblade in my house. So here's the thing. I rollerblade, but I've never roller skated. So I know it's gonna be different, but I think I'll be fine. It's obviously gonna be quite a switch from what I'm used to but I just am not over how, how cute these are. Look at my roller skates. Those are like dancing roller skates. They're like figure Aren't skates. They? Aren't they cute? Is it cute <laughs> what the heck? One of these is like way longer. What is this bullshit? Is it worth it though? No not to fix it <gasps> what do i have sir you're like what the fuck is this what the fuck what am i doing is this how we're gonna go on walks yeah i'm gonna take them everywhere <laughs> sound like the, the grinch also guys these are german how cool is that i'm german okay <laughs> definitely really different I need to practice but let me just let me just do me okay how do I <laughs> we just talk about how chaotic my house is the drums just start going off and all of my animals are just so confused <laughs> morning vlog happy saturday it is 9 18 right now i just got out of the shower i just did like a quick body shower i just woke up in a really good mood because the sun rays are back they were missing for a few weeks we have had this like most depressing rainy cold few weeks here and i have not seen the sun in a really long time i get all these nice rays it's hitting my leg it's really nice that is just something little that made my day i am currently trying to find a brown sugar syrup recipe because i want to make an espresso this morning but i want to try to remake kind of remake the brown sugar shaken oat espresso from starbucks because somehow they still don't have the brown sugar in stock and if i can make it at home then why would i not do that i don't have why isn't anything working what the why is it the wi-fi working let me try my phone i guess my phone's working that's so weird how to make the brown sugar simple syrup like starbucks okay i made one a few days ago but it wasn't really that good and i think i want to make a lot of it so i can reuse it okay so i guess let's go downstairs and make it waiting i'm gonna have this recipe linked down below i found it on tiktok it is so good but basically you put pesto in the pan instead of butter to season with the eggs and then you put pepper salt 
chili flakes and then you cook the eggs like that and then do avocado toast and it's so good thank you guys seen that Let's do a taste test. Sorry, I was talking quiet because there's people here, but let's do a taste test. I usually just eat it with a fork and knife because it's easier, especially when you have a bunch of stuff on it. And this is two eggs. You guys need to make this. Oh, and you also drizzle honey on top. Mmm. It's so good. Like, please make this. That was just magical. Okay, now we're gonna make our brown sugar shaken oat espresso. Not exact, but it's very similar. I wish Nespresso pods had triple shots because that's how much is in normally a grande espresso drink at Starbucks. So I have two espresso shots in one. So I'm just gonna do two of them because I can handle it. I think I just need to find a single espresso shot that I like. I have the Virtue. I think that's how you say it. So if you guys have any recommendations of a single espresso shot, um, let me know in the comments. I did a lot of like research on the machine last night and I honestly probably should have got the original because that's like strictly for espresso shots and that way you can actually buy the Starbucks Blonde Rose espresso shots. The Virtue, it's proprietary so it's only Nespresso pods can go in it so there's no Starbucks drinks, which honestly kind of bugs me i'm gonna pop it open look how cool this is when it shoots the pod back Boop. <laughs> so we're gonna do oh. this is hard to do with one hand <laughs> and we're gonna do another the pods that i'm using are the bianco Leggero. This is what you guys recommended to me and it's very good. I just wish I could get a Starbucks blonde roast espressos. Like I really should have got the original. I'm kind of mad, but it's okay. <laughs> because I know my brother uses this as well and he likes it for the larger sizes. So this way, when I move out, I'll just get the original. Now I know. For the brown sugar syrup, I just funneled it into this little mason jar and I have a little bit left in here that didn't fit so I'm gonna use this in my drink. I just have this little drink shaker. It's like a bar thing for cocktails but it works. Put like three ice cubes in here and then pour your espresso shots into here. And then you're going to add the syrup. So I think I'm gonna do three tablespoons. I think that's what the recipe calls for. One two three and do like a little bit more <laughs> and then you're gonna put the lid on and shake it why is it flying everywhere it's not supposed to do that what the did i just stain my white sweater this is definitely not a good sweater to do this in that's probably good once that's shaken up get a glass of choice I just had this mason jar and I filled it up with ice. To be exact, I put nine ice cubes. You're going to strain this into here because you don't want the leftover ice. Ooh. And then add milk of choice. I just have this Earth's own barista edition oat milk. It's the best. And typically there would be a little bit more room um, because it would only be three shots. So I'm just gonna drink a little bit out of it. Like that already tastes incredible. Mm. And then you're going to add in your milk, sprinkle some cinnamon on top. Look how sexy that looks. The syrup's actually really good. So I'm gonna have that recipe linked down below as well because I highly recommend. That is cutting close. <laughs> and then I'm just going to put the lid on and I think I will stir this, stir. I'm gonna store this um, just over here. <gasps> it's like incredible. You guys need to try this. It literally tastes the exact same. The only thing that's lacking is the espresso is not a blonde roast. 
So if you guys know what espresso shot for the Nespresso Virtue is the closest to a blonde, let me know. I did some research last night. I think I just looked up like what the best single espresso shots are. Voltesso. So I think I'm gonna try that one. That way I can do like three shots, but honestly, I think the four will be fine. Last time I only did two. It's so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, hi, I'm just about to prepare some Poshmark orders. I just listed a bunch of stuff on my Poshmark last night. So I believe it's always linked in the description box of my videos. If not, I'll have it linked in this one, but I added bunch of stuff so if you guys are interested in shopping it it will be down below and you if you've never signed up for Poshmark before um you can use my referral code take Ruger and then you can get a $15 credit towards your first purchase I just love Poshmark because you don't have to worry about the shipping duties or the shipping fees they do it for you I don't really know what's going on I might film a video today probably maybe outfit ideas because you guys absolutely loved the last like Pinterest outfit idea video that I did. So I think I'll probably just do a like spring outfit ideas or something because the lighting, as I mentioned before, I we have not had sun in a clear sky in so long and I need to take advantage of this lighting. I'll probably take some Instagram photos as well. I also need to list a few more things on my Poshmark, so I think I'm gonna do that now. Okay, I've decided that I'm gonna go roller skating because it is so nice out, and like I said, the sun has been hiding for the past few weeks, so I wanna get outside, and this way I can practice too. I'm going alone, I don't even care. I'm just not over them, they're so cute. I'm trying to decide if I want to bring my dog with me and like we go to the park and I can like throw the ball for him and we can like run around. But I don't know if that's a bad idea cause like what if he takes off and then I can't go get him. So here's my little outfit. This trucker hat is from Aritzia TNA and then I have on the same crew neck I've been wearing throughout this whole vlog. It's from Princess Polly, got leggings and what else do i need to bring my camera bag extra battery i'm gonna try to vlog some stuff should i bring my airpods i don't know okay <laughs> i'll update you guys this might be a bad idea but he's having a lot of fun so i don't even care <laughs> hi oh my goodness you gonna stay here stay yes good boy yesterday with Joe. I didn't record it because it's kind of raining out, but let's, I got my elbow pads on. I'm just gonna vibe, you know? He just follows me around, it's quite cute. All concrete. Look at the baby. Come here. Okay, hi guys. It is Sunday, and I'm just gonna end the vlog here because I'm going to be editing videos today. I have another one to edit, so I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Just a little fun weekend in my life where I go roller skating and all that. So if you did enjoy it, make sure to give it a like, subscribe if you're new, turn on your post notifications. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in a few days. Bye.